What's good everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new around here then please drop a like on the video and subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated. So, as you can see, we are going into building our lineups for the midweek. I have a few lineups this midweek which is exciting. Sadly not as many as I'd like um, and some tough fixtures coming up. But we do have some lineups that can go in. There's a few discrepancies to discuss, but for the main part, they're going to be quite simple, the lineups this week. So the video is not going to be too long. Um, but as always, thank you guys for watching and coming along. So we've got Premier League Classic, which we'll be playing our Brighton stack. We have got Brighton, who are at home, who until they played Arsenal, obviously two weekends ago, or last weekend, if I remember correctly, they were unbeaten at home. And they are playing Man City, of course. Tough fixture, Man City have played a lot of fixtures recently though, and watching them in the FA Cup against Chelsea, Chelsea probably should have won that game if anyone did watch it, um, Nicholas Jackson missed so many big opportunities, um, and they look tired, so I'd be surprised if, firstly there isn't a lot of rotation in the team because the players have played a lot and a lot of frequency recently, but also Brighton have obviously had quite a lot of time off, so this is kind of the best chance Brighton have at playing City and getting some kind of result. Am I hopeful for a result? No. But would I be surprised if Brighton could maybe get a draw? No as well, looking at how City have been playing. So Bart will be going in goal. We then have Van Heck in defence, Pascal Gross in the midfield, and we're going to go with the two forwards up front. We could obviously put Lallana in, but Welbeck is most likely going to start. Pascal Gross will go as captain, obviously, just scores very very well that will be that team there nice and simple we have then got just wanted to see if they've got any no. we have then got our contender lineup which no challenger lineup maybe it's all star actually I was thinking we've got obviously the Rosario boys so Potentially they can go either in all-star or in cap mode. Do I have a forwards to go in there? Ooh, we do. We have a few forwards. Okay, actually we've got, what I'll do, I think we will put them. So the issue I've got, right, is the main issue I've got here is... <laughs> People are estimating Bodot to start in this game, but when we look at play sharper, Apollo is 70% chance of starting. Bodot still has a 30% chance, but Apollo basically standing on the edge will want to sell Bodot, and he will get sold if there's an offer that comes in from in the summer. And as you can see here, as announced, Apollo will probably get his chance in goal. And that ruins my lineup because these players are so good and they are playing Michelin they have a good chance of scoring well. It's like, do I chuck this in challenger? Maybe chuck it into div five. So we know what the lineup would be. And Kangwa. That would be the lineup. We would captain him and chuck that in div five. Probably pro I probably will be doing that with the stack, to be honest. Then we've got All Star. Now with regards to All Star Obviously, we've got the, our, our Rosario stack. Rosario are playing Caracas. They are playing away from home. However, they do have quite a high chance of winning that game. But when we look at the players we obviously have, we then have Paulo Diaz, who is playing as well within this game. And obviously, we've got Mratby, for example. We've got Giotti, we've got Jefferson. Potentially, I could put together... We're going to go All-Star. We'll go with the best team I could put together in All-Star. I will... Let's have a quick look. See, the Rosario boys are not coming up there, which is a shame. And I don't think the Racing Club have got a lineup out either at the moment. So obviously I'll keep an eye for tomorrow. Paulo Diaz played... He's just... Look at that L5. Like, other than the game he got subbed off at half-time. He's just ridiculous. And because this is going to be the best lineup I've put together... We'll go Paolo Diaz there. Then in the midfield, we've got. We 
we've got a few options. Yimmy Chara, quite a high option. Putting him in there, he did actually score. He's been scoring pretty well recently when we're looking at his scores. 27 AA, they won at home to be honest. I would back him. He's got quite a high L15 anyway. Um, he can go in. Then up front, we have got obviously Amratby. Is playing standard at the edge. They are away from home. A little bit of a more challenging game, you could say. Federico Giotti, who is coming off two goals in a row, which I'm very, very happy about. He doesn't score great, but he does score. But both games away from home. They're playing away from home again, but they are playing Cobresal. Are Cobresal in? Let's have a quick look at where Cob. Cob. Is this? The, am I right? Did I butcher? Did I butcher the name? I apologize if I butcher the name. No, it says Cobrasal here, but Cobrella is the. Let's see what their fixture. Are. Yeah, no, Cob. There we go. So they are six points. They've won one game all season. They're not doing very well in the league. Obviously, he's coming off two goals, which is very nice. Has probably quite a good chance of doing well in that game. We do have, for example, as well, like Federer. Federer played on the weekend. He's back. He shot, annoyingly, I have his forward card, and he only has a forward card. But shot 51 as a forward in the midfield. He shot all right. If he was a defender, though, look how many four tackles. Crazy. Anyway, let me check there quickly. Jupiter League, Genk. They are playing Bruges though, which is tough. Only 20% for Federa. Federa, um, yeah, we won't be starting him. I reckon Federico Girotti playing. Yes, they are playing away from home. Good A chance. But then we do have also Jeffinho, who did play this weekend. Um, he did come off in the 45th minute. They won 5 1. Sadly, he couldn't get a decisive action. But Bogota are at home to Universitario. But he does have a much lower L15, so I could potentially put him in, for example, cap 240. Jurossi is coming off. Yes, they don't have as high a percentage chance of winning. Obviously, Jeffinho, when we look, has a 60% chance for Botafogo to win the game. But he did come off, like I say, at half-time in this game here, which I don't quite know why. Potential injury. So we'll put Jirossi in there, and then we have got choices. We could play Carlos. It's probably going to be Carlos or Malo, to be honest. And Ratby's just not doing what he needs to be doing at the moment like just three poor games in a row which is not what we want Malo shot a pretty good score shot a 64 in that game and Quintana shot a 53 in the game they will both start, they'll both play most likely, I've got 7% bonus on both I like Malo, he's a little bit younger and we'll Obviously, Captain Ballot Diaz. I think that's quite a good all star lineup, to be honest with you guys. Let me know what you think. But of course, there's a lot of th four out of the five players are playing away from home. But that's not bad. Like, when we look at my lines for midweek, I'm happy with this. Happy with this. Shame about this because obviously, if Bodart doesn't play, it kind of kills this lineup. So I will probably put this lineup into Division 5. But if Bodart does play, They've got a good chance, and it would be so annoying if Bodok doesn't play, and they score very, very well. We then have 240, which we will put in our... Have we got zero? Prevot has a score zero, so we'll put him in. Carlos Quintana can go in there. Then we'll put Victor Mallorca in there. We will put Jeffinho in there, and we will put... We'll put him Ratby as well because he may get the size of action. We could put obviously like I say Thomas O'Connor, but we know for sure that Quintana will start. Obviously we've only got four players playing within here, so I will obviously opt for 
the lowest threshold um, and see what we can get and see what we can manage. There is examples, for example, like Alzante will probably come off the bench. He came off the bench last game, 26 minutes, got a goal, so on and so forth. But I feel as though that is going to be, they are going to be my forward main lineups. All Star and Premier League Classic being the two priorities. Cap 240, if we can manage to grind that lower threshold, happy days. And then Challenger Classic, if we can win a couple boxes in here, happy days as well. Obviously, it's dependent on if Boda is starting or not. If not, then I may look to, for example, swap Kuebe for Yumi Chara, that type of situation there. Um, but in all likelihood, it's a midweek. We never normally have lineups to put up in the midweek, so I'm glad that I do have lineups to put out at the end of the day. So that is what we're going to be doing. Those are the lineups. If you are putting any lineups in this week, guys, best of luck. I will be coming with another video tomorrow. Apologies for the lack of videos over the weekend. Just crazy busy. But I'll be bringing another video to you guys tomorrow with regards to rewards for this weekend. And then I'll be bringing a few more videos over the week as well. Scouting some players, looking at players to buy for next year, so on and so forth. But once again, as always, if you're new around here, drop a like and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video video.